purpose of this presentation is to demonstrate how to build a standard WPF Windows application. In addition to Visual Studio or Visual Studio Express, you need three additional components. The .NET Framework 3.0, the Windows SDK, and Visual Studio Extensions, unless you want to use Visual Studio Orcas Beta Edition. Once installed, let's begin by creating a new project. We'll create a WPF Windows application project. By default, Visual Studio gives us two files. App.xaml, which represents our application class, and Window1.xaml, which represents our window class. These are two important classes when building WPF Windows applications. Let's begin by adding some components to our window. The first component we're going to add is a stack panel. We're going to add a slight margin just to give us some spacing when we lay out the form. In our stack panel, we're going to have a text block. And the text block is going to have some simple directions. Please enter your name. The next element in the stack panel is the grid that was provided for us by default. In the grid, we'll create some column definitions. We're going to have two columns. and we'll have one row. The first element in our grid will be a text block. It will be in our first column and our first row. And it will prompt the user for a name. The next element in our grid will be a text box. We're going to give the text box a name, and we're going to specify that it is in the second column and the first row. Now, typically in a Windows application, you're going to have more than one window. So let's create a second window. We're going to use what we've built in the first window, window 1, in our second window, window 2. We're going to change a little bit of the text so that it's looking for a title instead of a name. We're going to show some interactivity between the two windows. Now let's go back to our first window, and we're going to add one more element a button. We're going to give the button a name and we're going to set its content property to simply go. We're going to respond to its click event and let's go to the code behind and write a method to handle the click event. This is going to take an object, we'll call sender, and a routed event args. Routed event arguments are new in WPF. When the button gets clicked, we want to create a new instance of our second window. And the next thing we're going to do is set its owner property. By setting its owner property, we effectively make the second window, window 2, a child of the first window, window 1. We're going to set its owner to be this window. And lastly, we're going to show the window. So now when the user clicks on the Go button, we're going to show the second window. Let's go back to our second window. and go to the code behind, and we're going to respond to one of the standard events that's part of a WPF window. Instead of adding an additional event handler to handle an event in a standard window, the way that that's done in WPF is to override the base handler. So let's do that.
and we're going to respond to the on closed event. Two events that you'll see in WPF windows are on closed and on closing. On close is fired when the window actually closes. On closing is fired before the window closes so that you can cancel the window close action if you decide to. When this window is closed, we want to respond back to the parent and we want to set its title to whatever the user entered in the title text box on this window. So let's do that by referencing the owner property and then the title of the owner, which is the title of our window one, and simply setting it to the text of our text box on this window. Now, I think we're done with our second window. Let's go back to our first window. And we're going to respond to an additional event in our second window. We're going to respond to the on closing event so that I can demonstrate how to cancel a close action on a window. The first thing we want to do is prompt the user to see if they really want to close the window. So we're going to add a message box. Are you sure you want to close the window? Let's give the window a title. Are you sure? And let's specify that we want the OK and the Cancel button. Now if the response from the message box is anything other than OK, we want to actually cancel the action of closing the window. So the way we do that is by setting the Cancel property of the cancel event args to true. Great. Let's build our application, make sure we didn't make any syntax errors, and run it. As you can see, we have please enter your name, name. So this allows the user to be able to enter text in the text box. If the user clicks the go button, we open up our second window, which is our child window, and it asks us to enter a title. So we'll enter, this is a WPF application. When we close this window, it's going to write back to its parent window and set the title to the text that I entered in the text box. Now, when I close this window, I'll be prompted with a message box that asks, are you sure you want to close this window? If I click Cancel, we're going to cancel the action. If I click OK, we'll close the window. That's the beginnings of a WPF standard Windows application.